Team Richard Greer, CP Media, we're here at the end of the Waka 100 and I've got two very relieved, I'd have to say, looking uh, riders here. How would you get on today, Rob? Oh, it was actually a pretty long day, but actually we pretty much came in on the time we wanted. So, first time for me, so pretty happy. I spent seven and a bit hours, though, following Anton's rear wheel, so... <laughs> And how was the headspace in that? When you're following someone's rear wheel, there can be a bit of suffering and uh, it's a, it can be a tough place to be. How'd you go? I was clearly channeling for him to slow down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, did you, obviously didn't, you ignored him the whole day? Is that sort of your plan, Andrew? Oh, and like he undersells himself. He actually spent a fair bit of time in the front and he uh, put the pace on in the last 20k as well, I reckon. So all credit to Rob for a strong finish for both of us. Yeah, yeah. good. And it is about finishing strong and looking good across the finish line. How would you rate that out of 10, Rob? Oh, actually, we had probably a 9 out of 10 day. I mean, the weather's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Had it been yes. wet, it would have been quite a different race. Yep. Uh, and I guess the main issue is going back to back at the Pioneer could be rather <laughs> interesting. We don't need to think about that. And even the Pioneer, after day one, you don't need to think about too far deep yeah. into it. Um, toughest bits? What was the toughest bit out there? Oh, there was um, some pinch climbs around about 60k Pondy Elevator. And they were really tough. Um, Granny Gear. Really tough. Leaks wanting to maybe trigger some cramp. It was tough. Yeah, yeah, grovelling. And uh, any cramp at all? Uh, only when I tried to get up just five, <laughs> five seconds ago. No, otherwise pretty good. Pretty Perfect. happy with it. Well, body, that's yeah. obviously, well, you pace yourself really yep. well. Um, yep. Highlight of the day? Oh, finishing. <laughs> yeah. Finishing strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yep. good stuff. And um, Rob, what would you give any other advice to anyone else looking to do the Walker 100? Um, oh, I think it's there's a pacing issue around the, for the first 50k. Like, we had sage advice from all our friends to really... Yep. Don't push your boat out. Yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah. haven't myself for the first 50 trying to keep up with Anton. <laughs> yeah. um, and it was doable to hold it together. Yeah, cool. um, But I think trying to figure out your sustainable pace for the first 50 is, yeah, okay. is the tricky part. And what about you, Anton? What's your sort of uh, key yeah, learning? Or... I'd endorse that, but also just upper body strength. I found that in the descent, as you were getting tired, and yeah. just that trying to stay in control yeah. as the body. You know, legs are one thing, yeah. but you know, training your upper body to handle those, what, three, four, five? Yeah. Yeah, pretty technical descents, drops, steps, yeah, fast right. corners, and they're long yeah. as well. Some of yeah. them as well. You yeah. need to be able to do that and relax on your bike to be able yeah. to keep rolling with it. Absolutely, and core. Yes. Uh, so what is it? Tuck the hips. Good posture on the bike. Yeah, yeah. good, good, good. <laughs> and uh, you guys are off to Pioneer. We are. Yeah. So I guess four weeks or sort of training to go. Yep. Uh, so, and you obviously rode as a team today, and that's what Pioneer is about. Um, are you guys still teammates? You're still talking? <sighs> I think he behaved himself well enough today. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll, ha I'll have him back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, uh, all the best. Recover well, and looking forward to cheering you guys on at Pioneer. Oh, great, and thanks for your help too, Rich. It's awesome. been good having a bit of a guiding hand going into it. Good. Yeah. Well done, team. Good, good job. Yeah.